Dear Lydia, it seems like I just met you yesterday. You came to my life at a time where I thought I've convinced myself enough that I'll do just fine by myself and in no need of anyone else in my life. As we spent more time, I soon became further interested to get to know this goofy soul, one that seems very familiar, stubborn, quick-minded, a little bit messy, but also most loving and caring. I found myself the perfect missing piece. One who will always stick by my side and hold me tight in any given situation. I'm forever grateful that God has given me someone who not only understands, but also willing to go above and beyond in times of need. Josh, standing right in front of you today is exactly where I want to be. Three years ago, I found myself heartbroken, disappointed, and afraid to be in a relationship. I didn't believe I would find someone compatible, someone who is the right fit for me. But God placed you in my life, and since then, my fear has turned into hope and trust, and my heart has been completely transformed. Because when I look at you, I believe that you are the greatest gift that God has ever given to me. Josh, with you, nothing has ever felt so right. I feel fortunate beyond words to go through this life with a godly man like you. I've never met someone as dependable, faithful, wise, and as caring as you. You showed me a life where the answer to every question, doubt, and circumstances is to come back to Jesus and surrender in Him. So I choose you today and forever for the rest of my life. stand here in front of our friends, family, and the church, here are my promises to you. 
I promise to always be faithful and to choose you daily. I vow to always put God as the center of our relationship. I promise to be willing to change and support you as we grow in the Lord. I promise to always respect and serve you. You'll never walk alone because I vow to always be by your side. When the night has come And the land is dark Regardless of the uncertainties of life, I know that I'll do just fine knowing that at the end of the day, I can always come back to you as my home. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as I you stay. Remember that neither one of us is perfect, but that we are perfect together. So darling, darling, stay by me. Oh, Let us continue to pray that God will lead us on this journey. That we would learn to depend on Him in every situation and to allow Him to be the real head of this marriage and this family. as my husband to have and to hold for the rest of our days to love and cherish you till death do us part whatever the future holds i vow to always love you and stand by you <laughs>